Bay Area looters have coordinated by the dozens and descended upon high-end retail stores, and on Saturday, Walnut Creek's number was called. Check out this footage that was captured last night by NBC reporter Jody Hernandez, who filmed a surreal scene at a Nordstrom store in the mostly upscale East Bay City. As she describes, it looks like scores of people pulled up to the curb in a concerted effort. Hashtag breaking about 25 cars just blocked the street and rushed into the Walnut Creek Nordstrom making off with goods before getting in cars s and speeding away. At least two people arrested at gunpoint. Pic.twitter.com AG3R94M9L3 Jody Hernandez, at Jody Hernandez, November 21, 2021 at Jody Hernandez. She writes, about 25 cars just blocked the street and rushed into the Walnut Creek Nordstrom making off with goods before getting in cars s and speeding away. At least two people arrested at gunpoint. Indeed, her video shows multiple individuals fleeing from inside, running out with several items in hand and throwing them into the line of waiting cars, and then speeding off. While most of the looters got away, Ed Walnut Creek did arrest a few following the flash mob robbery at the Walnut Creek Nordstrom store. Hashtag Nordstrom Hashtag Flash Mob Robbery Pick Twitter Com Slash L P L R N A E Jody Hernandez at Jody Hernandez November twenty first twenty twenty one at Jody Hernandez She captured more footage of Walnut PD officers arriving on the scene and apprehending a few of the thieves, but by all accounts, a majority of them got away, with only three arrests being made that night. Three out of about a reported 80 people, so not even close. It's a deeply troubling trend that started to make itself known in San Francisco just the night before, only a stone's throw away from Walnut Creek, where tons of people broke into a Louis Vuitton store and ransacked the place there as well. Louis Vuitton San Francisco, Union Square got cleared out. Pic.twitter.com slash 7SZ6RLOATN Dewan, at Carlito Ski, November 20, 2021 at Carlito Ski. It looks like the cops in that scenario were able to apprehend a few more suspects than here in Walnut, but the fact that so many people showed up to do the same thing really makes you wonder to what degree this was all planned. In the Dubsey case, it's quite obvious. BTW, this is far from a California-only problem, there have been reports of mass looting all over the country for the past several days now, including another hit near Chicago, where another LV store was cleaned out. Gone I in 45 seconds, see how quickly thieves swiped merchandise from the Louis Vuitton store in Oak Brook yesterday. New surveillance video below. Police are looking for tips. Six three zero three six eight eight seven zero zero or crime tips at oakbrook.org tips colon slash slash t dot co slash s ninety one with can latest on the news at four pm pick dot twitter dot com slash deep c two j c Ben Bradley, at Ben Bradley, 
November 18, 2021 at Ben Bradley. Some are tying all this to the Rittenhouse verdict, but it seems clear these folks had these plans well before his fate was read aloud. And besides, Terry's been virtually little to no unrest in the wake of him being found not guilty, not like 2020, anyway, so the protest angle just doesn't make sense. What we're seeing appears to be just a good old-fashioned crime spree, which is getting more brazen by the day.